She just like lights up the room when she walks in. It's like, she's so awesome. Jack and I met in 1989 um, at a friend's house playing a uh, game of Monopoly. Right then and there, we, we had some chemistry. And um, five years to the day, we got married. Uh, we had our first daughter, Rachel. And then two years after that, we had uh, Jackson. It would be a typical, uh, you know, hectic life of two working parents. Uh, then, out of the blue, Jackie um, she had a stroke in, in the hospital. We weren't sure if Jackie was going to survive or not. It was a very, very difficult time. The problem is I can't talk. And again, when they said aphasia, I didn't know what that meant. And so I had to do a lot of investigation. I can't comprehend questions, difficult time with everything. I mean, every little boy and girl just wants to talk to their mom and, and learn a lot of things about what they did as a kid, what their life was like. And unfortunately, we've lost that. Uh, my kids don't have that. Before, she couldn't even say, like, full words or sentences. But when she was in the Adler Aphasia Center, they really taught her how to talk well. And it's just really helped her. The center is everything. And here they are in real life. Paul and Jackie Corey and uh, their children, uh, Rachel and Jackson, are off stage. They'll be with us in just a little bit. Um, we're watching this video, this very powerful video from August 2011. Um, when you think back. No, it's August. Oh, 2010. Yeah. My apologies. Yeah. Look at you correcting me already. <laughs> Trust me, it will not be the last mistake I make. Thank uh, you. <laughs> you've made great progress. Thank you. Uh, Adler, it's a family affair, and I get to come two days a week, and they're amazing. They really are, and the, the Adler Aphasia Center, Mike and Elaine Adler, when they started it, that was the reason to be helpful to yeah. people dealing with aphasia and their families. Um, let's, let's go beyond the video, let's talk about it. It was in July of 2010, okay? Yeah. That uh, the stroke happens. How has it affected your entire family since then? In every aspect. I mean, not, every just, aspect. not just the aphasia, but also the, the loss of the arm and the leg. Are you even closer? Uh, yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. where can I catch your act? <laughs> She's going to have her own show on PBS yeah. soon. Okay. Are you closer? In, in, in certain ways, we're much closer. In certain ways, we're not. I mean, it's just everything falls on, on me, the caregiver, to do a lot of this stuff. And so it is very limited time to be just Jackie and I. Uh, yeah. It's always something with the stroke, something with aphasia, something with the kids. There's something, and I'm working full time. Mm. Um, so there's always something going on. So in July 2010, what happens? You have the stroke. Yep. You have no idea what's happening. And then... And you were healthy yeah. at the time. Yeah. Mm. You I, had a, a clot. Yep. And the legs. And two days in the hospital, I'm, um, the stroke happened. No warning signs. And the no. word aphasia did not know. No. By yeah. the way, let's put this in perspective. Almost two million people are diagnosed with aphasia in the United States. Um, in New Jersey, right, get this, uh, it's estimated that 50,000 to 75,000 people are living with aphasia. You were 44 yeah. when it happened. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, June is National Aphasia Awareness Month. Hadn't heard of it. It is a communication disorder. It does does or does not affect your cognitive ability? Terrific. I can get the words out. Um, the words are going to be tough, but the language is not a problem. What's it like 
free. You said the word that she kept using initially was? It was yesterday. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday. Now, it could be a, a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> the first word could have been a different word. Yeah, and some um, people that have been, but it was yeah. just yesterday for about a good three weeks. That's all, the only words you could say. How ho mm. The word hope keeps coming uh, up a lot because you talk about being so hopeful. Yeah. How hopeful were you in the beginning? Um, I was extremely hopeful in the beginning. Um, hold, hold on, why are you looking at him like that? <laughs> I... One, two, three, four, five um, days uh, coma, and then she, he told me you were being a vegetable. Oh, we had a, one horrible doctor very early on who, who, who wrote her off, and, but I just dismissed him. You did uh, not ever, ever think that it wasn't possible. No. No. That Jack would make real progress. No, never did. Why? Because he <laughs> loves me. <laughs> and I, I know her. She, she is a fighter. Oh, your kids are over there just smiling away. Yeah. Is it just because you love her? Um, no, I mean, I, I just know her. I know she's a fighter. I, I, the, when she looked at me, when, when she opened her eyes, I knew she was there. And, and the doctors were dismissive. The one doctor was dismissive. But I, I knew the way she was looking at me, she only looks at me that way. And, and so I knew very early on that, that she was going to recover uh, uh, significantly. Even though you didn't know what aphasia was? Even though you didn't know what the road would be? Yeah. I just, just knew. <laughs> How slow was the progress? Oh, God. Much slower than yeah. I thought. Uh, yep. Uh, Talk about it. I mean, I mean, the arm, nothing came back on. Uh, uh, the leg, she was in a wheelchair for a good year. Um, I know for me that was the most difficult part, probably in the wheelchair, because that meant I had to do a lot more things, you know, helping get dressed, bathe. Um, and, and Jackie was just wanting to get the speech back. She didn't really care that much about the leg and the arm. She wanted the speech back. Uh, for me, I wanted both, but, but the, the, the leg meant mobility. Yeah. Um, the speech is everything, though, uh, with the, especially with two young kids. It, uh, and your kids were how old at the time? Uh, six and eight. Six and eight. Yeah. Your kids, yep. who are now 10 and 12? Yes. Yep. What did are you want? Are my to... life. Say it again. Are my life. They are your life. Yep. What did you want to say to them? I care so much, and I can't get the words out. I'm a vegetable. Um, they were scared of me. Paul um, Jackson especially was scared of me. But I have survived and they're looking uh, me a superstar. You are. Yep. Jackson <laughs> will have a chance to talk about uh, how he sees you today. Um, and I, you know, a lot of us can't comprehend how strong you really are because <laughs> we can't comprehend what you've gone through to be where you are yeah. right now and how hopeful. You, you never gave up hope. Yeah, terrific. Because? Um, I have gumption. <laughs> <laughs> I like life and all that I can do with um, Paul and the kids are terrific for me. Do you mind if we bring the kids on after this quick break? Sure. Yeah. Uh, your kids are 10 and 12. Um, Rachel is 12 and Jackson is uh, 10. And we'll give them a chance to join the family. This is an extraordinary family, the Corey family. 
uh, stay with us learning more about aphasia, but more importantly, learning about hope and uh, family bonds. We'll be right back. To see more one-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato programs, visit us online at steveadubato.org. If you would like to express an opinion, email us at info at caucusnj.org. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash PhD and follow us on Twitter at Steve Adubato. There they are, the Corey family. Uh, Paul and Jackie are now joined by Rachel, age 12, and Jackson, age 10. How are you guys doing? Good. Uh, I'm going to ask you something. Rachel, the reaction to the first segment when you heard your mom and dad talking, what's your initial reaction to it? Um, like probably touching. I mean, uh, what they've gone through, it was just so sudden. What and they've gone through? Well, yeah, I mean... How about um, what all of you have gone through? Well, it, it was a shock for all of us, and it just, like, startled us. And Jax and I obviously didn't know what it was, like, uh, eight and six, didn't even, like, know what aphasia was or what was happening. Uh, we were told, like, later, we just thought that she fainted and was going to be in the hospital for a week, and then she had the stroke and was in longer, and we didn't know what was happening. Yeah. Um, so we just sort of, uh, it was during camp, so my brother and I would just hang out with our friends and just like try to get our minds off of it. And but you also, we saw, I was watching the video, you were really helping your mom try to speak. What was that like? Um, I didn't really know exactly what I was trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk to my mom again, and I know that all she could say was like, da na 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 na, and I didn't know what she was saying. So I saw how she had like a whiteboard, so I kept trying to work with that, and uh, she couldn't pronounce the word. So I tried to figure out um, how I could help her pronounce the words. So I would just like go to the mirror in the bathroom and see how I uh, put position my mouth and my tongue and my teeth, and then <laughs> I tried to do it to her. <laughs> Is she a good teacher? Yeah. Yep. Good yeah. teacher? Yeah, it, it came naturally to her. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What was your reaction to it? Um, I was very proud, uh, very proud of her. Yeah. Um, speech pathology. Yeah, I want to be a speech pathologist now when I grow up. Yep. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're going to be a great one. Thank you. Jackson, let me ask you something. Um, you were very young, right? How old again? Six. You were, you were six. You, you heard your mom, I don't want to spend too much time talking about this, but you heard your mom say that her sense was that you were very afraid of her. Can you even think back? Yeah, like, when I first went into the hospital, like, I remember seeing my mom with, like, a scars, and I didn't know, like, I never imagined my mom like looking like this, and I started getting used to it. So I had to embrace like what, like this is who she is now. And yeah, but Jackson, let me ask you this though. I know you're saying who she is now, but who she is now is what. She's my mom. Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> She's a superstar? Yeah. Because. She lights up my life. Say that again? She lights up my life. Talk about that. Like, when I walk home, when I come home from school, she always, like, tells me to do my homework so I don't forget. That lights up your life? Really? <laughs> <laughs> she takes care of me and, like, ways that people with strokes, like, I don't imagine. Because when I go to the Adler Aphasia Center with my parents, um, I see everybody else, and it's, like, amazing, like, how the Adler Aphasia, Adler Aphasia Center, like, helps my mom and everybody else there. What goes on there? What goes it's on there? It's a magical place. <laughs> magical. I, they have um, activities there to make you talk. And I like the 
travel um, situation. I love traveling. And I like their thoughts and their actions, and it's terrific. Yeah. Mike and Elaine Adler are good friends. We started, and our friend Karen, who is actually in the studio here with us right now, who runs that operation, they're extraordinary people, and they've been, we've been proud to be affiliated with them and try to talk about You know, you yeah. talk about aphasia and try to educate. It's one thing, but then you meet people who are dealing with it yep. as individuals and families. What's the message you would want to leave with everyone right now? I mean, I mean uh, two messages. One, Jackie's still the same. I mean, I mean uh, <laughs> uh, we, we still, she's always loved traveling, and, and we constantly travel. Uh, went to London, went to Costa Rica, she went zip line. Oh, 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 back up on the zip line. <laughs> you showed me a picture, our, our executive producer, Jen, I thought I know was going to show a picture of this. I saw the picture, I couldn't believe it. What's the zip line story? Um, that's what she <laughs> always wanted to do. And, and, and finally I worked it out where we went to Costa Rica for a vacation and uh, I had a guide just for Jackie, so she was tethered to him. And, Zip lining through, through the uh, jungles of Costa Rica. One, s two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven jumps. Yeah. Eleven jumps. Yeah. <laughs> so the message there is? The oyster is mine. <laughs> well, you, you, you never give yeah. up. You just keep on, uh, I mean, just keep you, doing what you always love. Yeah. Can I do this one more thing? You, you, the story, the, the, the socks, what's the, what's the name of the book? Oh, yeah. Fox um, and Socks. And socks. Give, give the fox and sock story. You were reading it at the same time as your mom. Yep. And so right. I like was angry because I had like trouble reading at that point. So I threw it down. And so my mom. And like, your mom was reading it as well. Yep. Yeah. Your therapist. Uh, one thing with aphasia, you lose the little words. So you're um, reading. Your mom's reading it. Yep. What did you say to Jackson? I. Um. This is hard. <laughs> she said, is like, it it? <laughs> she said, um, Fox and Socks, tough book. <laughs> <laughs> you are a great family. Thank you. And you are a superstar. Thank you very much. And you're one of the most. We have an ad that says, <laughs> and you just made a lot of moms happy. <laughs> and a lot of 10-year-olds better be kissing their moms right now. <laughs> and, you know, we have an ad that says, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, uh, we have conversations with interesting people. You give new meaning to the word interesting people, uh, special people. Thank you. So you honor us by being with us, and we wish you nothing but the best in your work at the Adler Aphasia Center and inspiring a lot of other people and giving them hope. Thank okay? you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We'll be right back right after this. Thank you, guys.